Hello there, this is Mrs. Newton. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you a few new classes that are available to us in Bootstrap that allow us to have um, some really customized layouts. And so these classes that I'm gonna show you are gonna make our layouts more specific, and they're gonna help us to get around some common problems that you may encounter when you're coding your layouts. And so uh, the, the things that I'm gonna be showing you are from Bootstrap's website. Um, they're underneath the CSS tab. And they're all included in this part that says grid system. And so the things that we're going to be looking at today specifically are offsetting columns, nesting columns, column ordering, and then I'm going to loop back around and show you uh, responsive column resets. And so hopefully these are going to be useful tools to have in your bootstrap toolbox. And um, you can use these as you need when you're moving forward with coding web pages in bootstrap. Uh, the demo that I'm going to be using today is going to be on Blackboard. It's called the advanced demo or demo advanced. So you'll need to download, unzip that file and open it up into brackets. All right, uh, if you haven't seen this yet in brackets, I'm not sure if your file is gonna look like this when you open it or not. Um, but if not, if you if you see this, um, you're gonna notice that over on the left-hand side of brackets, we have these little triangles, and these are used to collapse and expand content. And so for example, if I click this, okay, there's my head section, my meta tags, my title, my CSS link. But then when I'm tired of looking at that or when I'm finished, you know, entering in my comments or whatever, I can minimize it or collapse it so that it doesn't take up as much space on my page. And so this, this might be something that's really helpful for you as uh, we are moving forward with um, more content and larger web pages. And so my body is collapsed right now. Um, in mine, I've already collapsed the Jumbotron and then all of the main rows it's like this guy this guy, this guy, and this guy. And again, it's a lot of content, which is why I um, started collapsing them. So if you see something that you're not quite ready to work with yet, you can just collapse it, collapse it, do do do, collapse it, and that'll help keep your, your workspace a little bit more simple and clean and ready to go. Okay, um, so all of that being said, I'm gonna start out teaching you guys something called an offset, an offset. And so if we um, look at the content here that we're gonna be looking at today, uh, the offset part I'm gonna show you with this row right here. This is a large screen, which is not where we're gonna see this problem, but um, let's say you're looking at this on a medium screen. And on the medium screen, you would like for this to be six, this to be six, and you'd like this guy to be eight columns wide. However, you'd like it to be pushed over a little bit. So you'd like a couple of blank columns in front of this section so that you have two blank on the left, two blank on the right, and then your content in, is filling up eight columns in the center. Well, the offset class is going to be used to um, create, to insert those blank columns. Okay, so I'm going to find that little, the div that has heading three in it. This is inside of my offset section. So find the offset section, find that row, collapse it. And we're gonna find the part with heading three. So heading one, heading two, that is this guy. Okay, so I have my heading three. And um, if I look at the columns for this guy, on extra small, it is 12. On small, it's also 12. Um, medium, it becomes eight, and that's when I want to insert the offset. And so the code for this, um, you can reference this on Bootstrap's website again, if you'd like to. Oops, let me find it. You can go to grid system offset, and I have lots of examples here of other offsets, but the code looks like this. Column, screen size, offset, and then the number of columns that you want to offset. So um, in my code, in this heading section, um, I am, actually the small also has eight, so I'm gonna do that here as well. Um, so for small and medium is probably when I'm gonna insert this offset. I'm gonna do column small offset, 
and then two. And I decided to do two because if you take uh, the 12 columns and you subtract eight, which is how wide I want this section to be, there are four left over. And I don't want all four blank columns on the same side. I'd like half on the left and half on the right. So if I offset it by two, those are going to go on the left-hand side. Any, any uh, number that you put here is going to be on the left-hand side. So like since this one is column offset three, there's three blanks right here. Since this one is column offset four, there's four blanks in the middle. Um, so on ours, once we've done that, we've updated the offset, we should see this moving over by two columns, but we're not. And that's probably because I did not save my file. So I'm gonna save it. <laughs> Sorry about that. Refresh, there it is. Okay, and so now I have six, six, and eight with two offset. And so now it's moved over by two columns which is nice. That is exactly what I wanted it to do. Um, if I were to try and offset heading two, it would be offset from where this first container stopped. So if I said offset by one, it would move over one from the ending of this. So there'd be a one blank column between section one and section two. Okay, so when you're using offset, there is one detail that you're going to need to keep in mind and think about, and that is that um, just like my... Um, my column sizes here are going to carry over into larger screen sizes. And what I mean by that is if I have like on this guy, column small six, since I am not specifying a medium screen size, the medium is going to default to six since the last screen size it saw was six. So column small six is actually applying to small and medium screens. And so we're seeing that style carry over into larger screen sizes if you don't specify. Well, turns out that offset also is going to carry over into larger screen sizes. And so we should see the offset 2 and the 8 for small and medium. So we have extra small. Small and there it is, medium. Um, but turns out that offset is also going to carry over into large. So if I go to large, large, uh-oh, this should be four, four, and four, but you're going to notice all of a sudden this section is no longer fitting up here where it needs to go. And that's because it's still trying to incorporate that offset that we had put in. Okay, so if you want offsets on one screen size, but you don't want the offset on a larger screen size, you're actually going to have to go in and overwrite the offset for your larger screen size. Okay, so what I mean is um, I told it to offset by two on the small screen, um, but since I'm not using offset anywhere else, Bootstrap is assuming that I also want it to offset it by two on medium and large screens. And so if I don't want it to offset on the large screen, I'm going to have to type in a whole nother style. Column, large, offset, and this time I'm going to put zero because I'm saying, hey, when you're on the large screen, I don't want you to be offset anymore. And so putting offset zero is going to clear out or overwrite that offset of two. And so when I save that and look at my page, there we go. Now we have four, four, and four with nothing getting messed up by the offset, which is exactly what we want. Okay, awesome. So that's my offset section. So uh, when you're done with that, we're going to come up here. I'm going to find the, where the row starts, and I'm going to collapse it because we are done with that. All right, I'm going to actually continue the next um, three topics in the next video. So um, tune in and learn about those next.